So welcome uh, to OWF 11 again. Uh, you're on Intellian TV. So we're here with uh, Paula Hunter and uh, Stephen Moldy from the uh, Outer Foundation. Welcome. Thank, Thank you very you. much. So uh, Outer Foundation, could you uh, guys tell us a bit more what it is, how it all started? Sure. Um, it's, a, it's a fairly young foundation. We're a nonprofit. Uh, we focus on open source software. We were formerly known as the CodePlex Foundation, so if people have not heard of Outer Curve, they might be familiar with CodePlex. And uh, we have a number of projects in the foundation, projects that extend the ASP.NET platform. We have projects that address data, systems, and language interoperability. And we have a collection of projects that accelerate the research cycle for scientists. Uh, we continue to grow the foundation and add new projects. And in fact, this week we, we just announced an exciting new project called GADS. And I'll, I'll ask my colleague Stephen to talk a little bit more about GADS. Sure. Uh, GADS is actually really interesting. It is power management software. So for the whole power grid in America, that's where it started. They have to have all of the uh, reports have to come out in a very consistent way. And an open, uh, a product was built some number of years ago that they've just open sourced it last spring. And then they've come to us to help grow the project and build the community around it. And it's actually not just being used in America, but uh, a number of power generating companies in France also use it. So this is, it's a very exciting new project because it is really important. It's all about power management and managing the power on the grid. So it has gotten global exposure, the it's, project already? The project already has global exposure now. So this is, it's an exciting project to have. Right, so I mean, we're t since, since we're at, an, uh, at a conference that is open, all about open, what would, uh, what would you say uh, about open source in your foundation? Where does it come into play and how well, does it help? Where does it help? Where is the challenge? Sure. Well, certainly all of, a, all of the projects in the foundation are open source. Uh, so we actually accept projects that comply with the OSI open source licensing standards. So we are license agnostic. Uh, the, the GADS project is a GPL2 project, but we also have Apache projects. We have a, a wide range of licenses now that are represented within the foundation. And uh, what we found is that in a, in a number of cases, the projects have come to us because they want to build a broader community. And so by coming to the foundation and um, assigning the intellectual property to the foundation, in a, we're a neutral zone for other players to contribute code and, and collaborate with the project leaders. And uh, just how, how big is your foundation already? So we'd be up to 15 projects now with a couple more in the queue. So yeah, we about to have a, about 180 contributors right now that are uh, uh, writing code across the various projects. And uh, what's your principal uh, sponsor on this or who's backing you up? Our current, uh, our primary sponsor is our founder, Microsoft. Um, what's great though is, is of the 180 or so developers that are contributing to the projects, just about 50% of those, pro those uh, contributors are Microsoft developers. So what we've been able to do is because we are a neutral, uh, vendor neutral foundation, uh, we've been able to attract a lot of developers that are, are beyond uh, Microsoft that are interested in collaborating on these, t these projects. And you have developers also that are non-US based, right? Or uh, all over the world. All over the world. And, and even uh, the projects at this point, uh, easily a third of them have come from outside. So GADS was not a Microsoft project in any way. Most of our research accelerators have come from independent university research that's been going on. So it's, it's, it's an exciting time for the foundation. Well, thank you very much for being here with us. So uh, thank you and uh, see you later. Thanks very Thanks much. For being thank at you. WF and uh, wish you a good time. Thank you. Vive la France. <laughs>